folks, thanks for being here today. Uh, Mayor Arakawa is going to make a statement, and then we'll be opening up the floor for questions. Uh, please be advised that I know a lot of you have names of, of what, what you say are victims. We cannot confirm. There's a police procedure that is in place for identifying victims that we're, we're trying to respect here. Also, uh, please refrain from asking how the plane went down, if we knew, if we knew there were any mechanical problems about the, about the plane, um, if there was bad weather. We're, we don't know the circumstances of the crash. We're leaving that up to federal investigators. And uh, now, Mayor Akawa will say a few words. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. At around 9 last night, four members of our planning department and one of our corporation council attorney got on a charter flight at Lanai Airport to return to Maui. Their plane ended up crashing about a mile southeast of the airport. Emergency dispatchers were called at 9.23 p.m. by one of the passengers of the plane who described the crash site and where they were in relation to the airport. Fire personnel arrived at the scene about 12 minutes later where they found three injured male survivors two deceased females, and one deceased male, the pilot. Two of the survivors were in critical condition, while the one who made the phone call was listed in serious condition. All three were airlifted to the Queens Medical Center, where they are still undergoing treatment. We do not know why the plane crashed or the circumstances surrounding the crash. These questions are best left to the FAA and NTSB investigators. What I can say is this, we lost two of our own last night. One of them, excuse me, one of them was a longtime employee who worked for us for decades. The other was a bright young planner who was dedicated to her job in serving the public. The entire county mourns for their losses that the pilot who also died in the crash our hearts go out to his family as well. We would also like to wish these three people, or our three people that are being treated at the Queens Medical Center, a speedy recovery. We have sent the managing director, Keith Regan, and a team from the county to Oahu this morning to meet with the survivors to see how they are doing and to try and provide anything we can do that might help them get through the healing process. For the rest of our county family, especially our planning department and corporation council, We'll be making grief counselors available for anyone who needs them, either here, Maui, or on Lanai. From what we understand, our people at Queens are being treated for second and third degree burns on their face and hands. The severity of those burns vary among the three survivors. We also understand that we may have had more casualties had one of the survivors not been able to move the other two away from the flames. He was also the one who called 911 as soon as he was able, which enabled the emergency crews to attend to the injured quickly. I would also like to thank our fire and police responders who were at the scene. They got the flames out, tended to the victims, and got them to the ambulance as fast as they could so they could receive emergency care. Also, many thanks to the AMR Air and Hawaii Life Flight for providing aircraft that transport people to Oahu. This is a tragedy that has stunned our community, but we're also thankful for those whose lives are spared. As mayor, I'd like to thank the media and the public and ask you to please be respectful to allow the families to grieve, our wounded to heal, and our investigators to do their jobs. Right now, we'll open the floor to questions. Again, we cannot release the names until the police are done with their investigation and all questions related to the crash needs to be directed to the federal investigators. So thank you, and any questions? Uh, right before we get started, so the mayor will take questions if you want. If you have questions about the scene and first responders, please uh, ask uh, either Chief Mainaga or Lieutenant Wan to come up. Uh, we also have representatives from the two departments who had personnel on the plane, planning, and uh, corporation council. Also. They're not going to be, again, releasing any names, they can't release the personal details about the, their people, but they can talk about what they were doing on Lanai and uh, so on and so forth. So if you guys have any questions. 
Mero, and how obviously yep. here in these counties and in these departments, everybody is like family. Um, I can't imagine how difficult this is. Been. Well, we all get to work with each other. So, yeah, it's like family. <laughs> Sorry. You know, we're, we're a very small community, and uh, everybody knows each other, everybody works with each other. Any kind of a loss like this really hits home. So just thank you for the consideration, and uh, just know that um, everybody's pretty much affected. Mayor, how often do they have these um, conferences over on the line? Uh, we have meetings going on continuously, depending on the type of, of, of uh, program. You know, most of our boards and commissions have meetings on Lanai and representatives on Molokai as well. So I would say almost daily we have some kind of communications between the, the different uh, communities on various issues. Uh, just because we have so many different boards, commissions, even council meetings, administration goes down. Departments have to go down to work with personnel. So it's pretty much constant. Is, is there any reason to why I think some of them or, or most of them can't be done by teleconference in this particular case last night? Uh, teleconference is something that we looked into some time ago. And we actually uh, bought units when, when uh, we were on the council uh, and put units on Molokai, Lanai, and uh, in Hana. We were prohibited by state law uh, from doing this because if any kind of communication was broken, we had to re, uh, we, had, we had to take the, the whole process together and we had to uh, let the community know about these meetings. So we had to reschedule them. And that takes like a, a full week before you can start it again. So the interruptions, with the communication system before used to be very problematic. However, with the, uh, the newer equipment that we have, the council now is starting to uh, allow the outlying districts like uh, Lanai, Molokai, and Hana to participate in council meetings. So this is something that we can re-explore. Mayor, when did you hear about what happened? Well, like most of what you've read in the, in the paper, we, we just know that the plane went down. We knew that there were people within our departments that were involved. Uh, in this case, the pilot was also killed. You know, we use this airline quite a bit. So you build relationships over time. And we just knew it was a tragedy unfurling, and we just have to sit back and wait for information, just like all of you are looking for information. What these planners are doing is so important to the community. It's connecting the communities. Remember, we're, we're a, a county of four islands. And we have to make sure that uh, all of the islands have equal representation. So Molokai, Lanai are just like uh, if you were in Honolulu, it would be like Pearl City and, and Aiea not being represented in, in the county. We have to represent them equally. So they have to be in communication. Mayor, how many times did this group go out together? Or is this a routine thing for this particular group to go to Lanai? Uh, the departments generally will send people, but they're not necessarily the same people all the time. So depending on department staff and the specific topic of the meetings, uh, different people are assigned. So it's not the same group all the time. You talked about offering grief counselors, understandable to, to the folks in this community. What yes. else are you doing to help move forward? I mean, this is difficult. Well, we're, we're just going to have to work through this. There's no easy way to get through any of this. It's like uh, deaths in the family. You know it's going to happen at some point. Uh, until it actually happens, there's just no way of dealing with it. And each individual has to deal with this in their own way. Mayor, with so. this being offshore, how difficult was it for rescue crews to get there? Well, this was actually onshore. This, this um, the airplane was going inward, so where where it uh, landed was a mile inshore oh, from I the airport. Yeah.
So how difficult was it to get to that scene, though? I imagine it's somewhat remote. Uh, we do have the, the, the fire and to answer those questions. Yeah. Would you guys like them up there? Fire or police first? I have one more question for the mayor. Yes. Um, given recent uh, airplane crashes in Maui County in the last few months, have you come up? Are you considering uh, sending employees by ferry rather than uh, air taxi? We do send employees by ferry as well. A lot of it is, is matter of convenience. Uh, because of the infrequent transportation challenges that we have, you know, we have to make a decision whether people are going to stay overnight if we have evening meetings or come back. Uh, a lot of our employees choose to want to come back and, s and spend the night in their home rather than at a hotel. So uh, for the most part, there is a, a choice whether to stay over or come back. But any evening meetings we have is problematic from a transportation standpoint. Mayor, any other thoughts you'd like to add? I know there are other people here to speak, but I imagine it's going to be a long day. Well, we'll let the, the other departments uh, explain their portion and how it's playing out. It just, it's going to be a long day. So we're just trying to make sure and listen to what's coming back as it comes back, information comes to us. And, We'll digest it as we can. But the other departments are much better at explaining the technical things that are happening. Let's have uh, Lima Naga from the fire 